I'm going to tame a chicken! <sighs> Hello and welcome to a short unboxing of Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town Premium Edition. I just got this game, it's release day, and I've been excited for this game for a while. You can see that without the glare. <laughs> I've been excited for this game for a while. As you can see, it's the premium edition. It comes with a few cute little things. Boop. Uh, first off, sorry for all the crinkling. It comes with, what is this? Full color fabric wall hanging. Which should be adorable. And I have plenty of things that can hang up. Now I have even more. Oh, it's getting green screened out. <laughs> but here we go. I'll take a picture of it and probably post it, uh, put it up so you can see it in all of its glory. It's really cute. I don't know what I think. Let's see if y'all can see that. This thing? I think this is like a new harvest sprite or something. But I don't know. So far they look a little weird. All the staple Harvest Moon slash Story of Seasons. Animals on here, chickens, cows, alpacas became a part of that a bit ago. And then we see little new ones like this little monkey and squirrel. It's exciting. Next up, it comes with this little plushie. Get that open. It's a four inch long buffalo pocket plushie. Let me tell you, this thing is adorable in person. You all see that? Ooh, oh god. It's on the move. It's adorable. Yeah. And then last of all, but definitely not least, it comes with the game itself. I can get it without glare. It's a little heavy. We're gonna open it up, see if there's anything else on the inside. Uh, games usually don't come with man manuals anymore. I don't know why I'm saying that. Most people should know that by now. They usually come with like a little um, uh, software manual that you get from the menu or something. These are for to open. There we go. Ooh! Tourist guide. It came with a tourist guide. Inside of the packaging. Adorable. Can't really see it in all its glory because of my stupid green screen, but... You know. In case I haven't said that yet, I am doing a first impressions after this unboxing. So it has a map in it of Olive Town. Looks like it lists all the characters. It has a little history of Olive Town. Here we go. We have a little um, thing on the first page. We're so glad you could visit our little paradise on the peninsula. This booklet is a handy guide to the fresh and many sights and experiences we have to offer. We sincerely hope you'll enjoy your stay. Oh, and I'm Laura, the town tour guide. If you have any questions, come find me at the Tourist Information Center, page 16, near the docks. Is that a unicorn? There's a unicorn. Can y'all see that? Right there. It's a unicorn. Whoa. But anyway, gameplay. If I did that right, there should be a little unboxing video um, beforehand. Hope you liked. Ceiling mode? Items will ship for more money. Player stamina will decrease more slowly. Friendship? Oh my god, you are loud. Gonna turn you down a wee bit. <laughs> Ooh. 
Okay. Items will ship for more money. Player stamina will increase more slowly. Friendship levels will increase at a faster rate. Skill experience points are easier to gain. And shop prices will be lowered. The bonuses found in seedling mode will not be given for players who prefer more of a challenge. Yeah, boy. Do I look like a seedling? I hope not. <laughs> I don't know how to feel if I look like a seedling. But look at the cute little... I don't, look, 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 over there. Over there. Those little chickens! The chick in the loading screen. It's adorable. Oh my god, it has the classic, like... Harvest Moon 64 noise. A long time ago, my grandfather and his friends blazed a trail and established a new settlement. They called it Olive Town. When I was a kid, I loved listening to stories of my grandfather's pioneering days. More than anything. Since then, it's been my dream to live in Olive Town. Just like he did. Cute. We get to make a person? I'm already like in shock of how much better this is than the Harvest Moon game. Like how how did they mess up Harvest Moon so much? Fresh, sweet, calm, gentle, elite, feminine, mischievous, friendly, confident, sleepy. I like sleepy. Sly. Mysterious. I don't know how that says mysterious. Stubborn. I like stubborn. We're going with stubborn. Skin color. We pale. I mean, I'm pale, but it doesn't mean my character has to be, right? Right eye color? Wait. Why does it say right eye color? Do we? Can we do it, like, individually? There's so many colors. I never know whether to go for green or brown, because my eyes are hazel, so they kind of change color. I'll go for gold. I like purple. Let's go with purple. That's dope. I'm not going to do that right now, though. Short farmer cut. Long farmer cut. Short hair. One, two, three. No, these are, hairs aren't bad. They flow! Hmm. Ooh. Very short hair? I wouldn't call this very short. Do our characters just have a big head? Yeah, our characters have a big head. Can I zoom out? Full view. this. I'm gonna change umber. I like umber. I don't like our head shape. I love all the colors, though. We're gonna stick with that color. Our character is a voice? We're gonna go wild. I wanna be wild. Powerful. I think I can rock a skirt, but we're gonna stick with the jacket for now. Hmm. I wanted this hair, but I don't think I like it with the shape of our head. I 
I'll stick with it. I'll, I'll, I'll stick with it. Yeah, boy! We farming! Well, not yet, but we will be. Motorcycle color. I like blue because it's my favorite color, but I don't think I want it blue. Purple's kind of dope. Brown. Let's go with purple or violet. Violet, you're turning violet. This is so cool. Are those? What were those? I want to. I wanted to say meerkats at first, but I didn't think it was gonna be meerkats. Oh, we've been driving all night. This thing must be great on gas. Or maybe it's electric. The squirrel's just chilling out with us. Ahead. All of town. The text noise is so nostalgic to me. It reminds me of playing, like I said before, Harvest Moon 64. And it's just like one of my favorite games ever. I played it all the time. I should play for the channel sometime, or maybe stream it. Oh no! We just painted it! Oh god. Hi. And who might you be? Did you come all the way here on that motorcycle? I did. Well, that must have been an artist, artist journey. You poor motorcycle. It tells a story all its own. Oh, you needn't worry about it. I can have the repairs arranged. Wow, that's really nice. Like, you don't even know me, bro. I'll be taking it to a man named Clemens, who runs our tool shop. You can have it. You can pick it up later once he's all done with it. Uh, by the way, might I have your name? I'm gonna be basic and be Scoob. You cannot change this. <laughs> Just tell him. Hold on, let me rethink this. What is my name? I see, so your name's Scoob, is it? That sounds so familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Oh! My goodness! Your birthday! It's, uh. Is it. What I think it is? You got that right, probably. Winter. 26th. Yeah. Yes, I remember now. Winter 26th. Come to think of it, his grandchild would be 20 by now. Huh. Then that would make you... His granddaughter, yes. I like this. I like how it's like super gender fluid like that's that's dope like the only other farming game i can think of that's like that is stardew valley so this is awesome yeah boy of course my apologies i don't know how i would have forgotten when you're standing right in front of me dare you try to assume my gender Goodness gracious! To think my dear old friend's grandson would be his way would find his way to Olive Town. Come on then! I'll be happy to show you 
to your grandfather's old farm! I don't know why that's his voice, but it's his voice. Now that we're in cutscenes and stuff, it doesn't look too bad. It's like our head. <laughs> Is something the matter? Actually, let me guess. By the look on your face, you'd like to ask me... Are you quite sure this is Grandfather's Farm, sir? And to that, I would say, it is! When your grandfather lived here, his farm was lush and beautiful place. Emphasis on the was, I'm afraid. Now, what was the name of his farm again? It's on the tip of my tongue. Your grandfather must have told you the name of the farm, surely. What was it again? Sir, you live here. I usually go for Hyrule or like Rose or something like that. I used to go for Rose, but then I changed to Hyrule because I'm terrible with making up names. But I think this one is going to be Galar. Or Galar. For Pokemon Sword and Shield. Plus, I just like that name. Yes, that was it! Galar Farm! <laughs> Splendid! Interesting in taking over your, the farm, are you? Yeah, that's why I'm here, bruh. Well, I can't say I'm well versed on the subject, but I can at least teach you the basics to start off. Please don't. Unless it's new and I have no idea what it is, please don't. There you are! I'll pass these along to you! <gasps> tools is this? Invisible tools is this? These are tools for developing the farm, darling. As I'm sure you're well aware, this farm has, be has seen better days. But those tools would be the key to changing all that. Press to select. You can use the highlighted item with Y. I am so happy they didn't simplify it to hell like Harvest Moon did, where all you do is walk around and press A on everything. Doesn't matter what you're doing, all you're doing is walking around pressing A. That's the only thing you can do in that game now. Pretty sad, actually. Items you find. Oh, why am I. Items you find will be placed in the bag. Press X to open your notebook and view your inventory. Okay, that's actually helpful. Thank you, thank you. Be aware of trees and stones while clearing things out. You'll need special tools to deal with those. I thought you were giving me special tools. Axe while standing in front of a tree will allow you to chop it down. Stones can be broken with hammers and sickles can cut wild grasses. Utilize them and clear your land. I realize this is a lot to take in. Not really. I'm well versed in farmson. It might be baffling at first. Take things at your own pace and you'll gradually grow accustomed to it. Is there going to be a thing on like the third year where my grandpa comes back to life and judges my farm and he's like, you're doing trash. He did that a lot in six, Harvest Moon 64. <laughs> ah, and do use the sleeping bag if you're in your tent if you find yourself exhausted from your work. A good night's rest will restore your energy. Wait, did my grandpa live on here? Live here with a tent? Like, his whole life? You're welcome to take some notes on all things for the future reference. If you do, you can view them from the notebook in your tent at any time. Following along so far? If you're unsure about anything, I can explain it once more if you'd prefer. And I'm good. Excellent! Glad to hear it. I have some other things I should explain to you as well, but I'd rather not overwhelm you. Let's wrap it up here for today. First, I'd like you to try out everything you've learned. I'll be back tomorrow to teach you how to grow crops. Oh, and if there's anything about all of town you'd like to know, I'm the man to ask. I'm its mayor, after all. Pikachu Shockface, you're the mayor? Did he say that already? I thought it was, like, obvious. 
As a quick word of mayoral advice, I'd suggest you get acquainted with our residents. Leaving a good first impression is paramount. I always say. Brought to you by Paramount Plus. Now then, I'll be on my way. Until tomorrow. Thank you, sir, for the tools. Oh god, I'm terrifying. Oh, why am I walking? Okay. Mining level up? How do I see those? New title, new farmer. Ooh. So it kind of moves not too smoothly? It might help with farming, so we'll see how I feel about that move. I mean, leave? Ah, don't, don't walk on your own. Oh, so here's the bucket to ship things. It looks like it's more, um, I was gonna say Resident Evil. The hell? Stardew Valley style, where you open it up and put stuff in. If you sow seeds on your fields, you'll be able to grow crops. Try planting some seeds after Mayor Victor has taught you a little more about raising crops, sir. I just need the tools, and I got you. If you ever discover crops you've seen before while clearing your land, harvest and ship them as soon as you can. If you do, those crop seeds will become available for purchase. Ooh! Yo, that's, that's dope. I was expecting, like, a... So far, I'm loving this. What are you? Oregano? Ooh, we can grow herbs? That's dope. So I was expecting, like, maybe a... If I go back into it, are they still there? Okay, so unlike Stardew Valley, the crops... Or the things you're shipping stay in the bin for the whole day, it looks like. <gasps> it's a wee little chicken! I'm going to tame a chicken! I'm so excited. So I really like um, old school Harvest Moon mechanics where like, does that chicken have a wee little tail? That's adorable. Kind of terrifying, but also adorable. Ooh, what is this? Royal Fern. This little log. Sorry, I'm just so excited right now. What I was saying, though, was I like the old school mechanics where, like, if you pick up a crop, you hold it over your head and then you can do stuff like that. Or if you cut wood, you can make a fence by just uh, putting the wood down. Even being able to pick up uh, rocks in Harvest Moon 64 and... I would always do that. I wouldn't waste the rocks because I didn't really see a point in wasting wood on a fence most of the time, or at least um, early on. And I would set the rocks down as like a little fence around my crops. And I always had fun with that. Ooh, right next to a beach? We got some little... a blood clam! Okay, little clam. What was that noise? What is that noise? <gasps> Strawberries! Wild berries. Got a moon drop flower. Do I have... I do have tools. Your tools can all be stored in the tool bag when you need... When you need them, take them out to use them. And when you're done, you can store them back in there. Make the best use you can of the special uh, tool storage. Ooh, the sickle looks crazy in this. Are these wood? A tool with a sharpened blade, perfect for cutting wood. Are they made of wood, though? Yeah, these are definitely made of wood. I think in some of them you might only get, like, the... 
watering can and hoe and stuff. Also, picking the, uh, I was gonna say weapon. Picking the, yeah, I'm gonna have to change controllers. Picking the tool you wanna use and then pressing a actual dedicated button to use it feels so satisfying. And it takes that away from you in Harvest Moon. Newer ones, and I'm gonna keep complaining about this. Repair? Also, I didn't read what that said. Uh, several dilapidated dilapidated structures exist on the farm. Try to repair the coop first so you can raise chickens. Oh, stone, grass, logs. Okay, okay. Do I have to go to a um, carpenter to do this? Like, will a carpenter do it or will it just be repaired automatically? Because I'm kind of hoping there's a carpenter. Sir. <laughs> Sir! Oh my god. There. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with my Joy-Con, but it's being a little angry. Alright. I'm gonna keep the stone. Is this iron? And wood. It is iron. Cool. Let's head to town. Let's not hold the hammer so we have a better first impression on... Who is that? The locals. So they have a little... I was gonna say fish sign, but it looks like a drawing sign? Oh, this is a general store. General stores sell seeds, seedlings, and various other products. Their lineup changes each season, so check back often to see what's in stock. Hours of operation, 8 to 6. Closed on Tuesdays. Cool. So... Do I buy stuff by picking it up? Doesn't seem that way. Hi. 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 You looking for anything in particular? Oh, so you're Scoob. Heard about you from the mayor. I'm Jack, your friendly neighborhood general of general store gen generalities. Okay, that flopped. I'm Jack. Nice to meet ya. Oh, cute. Who are you? Are you Jill? Ah. <laughs> ah. Howdy, you're Scoob, right? I'm Angela. My family runs the general store. Nice to meet ya. Dope, we're meeting people. I met you, so that means I can just rummage around your house, right? Oh, their house is pretty big. That's nice. Oh god, ah. Anyone up here? Hello. Why can I get hair like you? I like your little, little hairstyle. Hello. We haven't met before, have we? Oh, so your name is Scoob? I'm Rawl. It's a pleasure to meet ya. Yo. Yo. You come here to sightsee? I can guide you around if you want. Emilio. Oh. You're the one who came on that motorcycle. Scoob, right? I'm Emilio. Don't you forget- Don't you go forgetting it now, okay? Will do. Oh, wait. I didn't see what that was. Oh god, cutscenes are happening now. I feel like she's in... Trio of Towns or something? Well. Wait. Well now, you've got the look of someone who hasn't gone fishing before, am I right? 
Don't you worry. This is as good an opportunity as any to learn. I'd be happy to teach you if you're- if you'd like to try. Here, for starters, I'll give you this fishing rod. It was just lying around my house. I'd rather it be put good- put to good use. Thank you. I wasn't expecting to get a fishing rod so early. You can cast your, out your fishing rod as long as you're facing a body of water. Once you've got a fish on the line, reel it in and begin the battle with your catch. The rules of fishing are simple. If there's a body of water, you can probably cast your line into it. Simply face the water, throw out your line, and the moment you nab something on the hook, start reeling it in. Once you've gained enough fishing experience, I bet you'll be able to reel in the big ones. Like me amor. Marcos can. And that's all. And that's all there's to it. Now get out there and enjoy the fish. Hell yeah, thank you. People here are so friendly. You are Marcos. Hola. Nice to meet you. I'm Marcos. A fisherman. I'm not good with voices, okay? I try. They probably all sound the same, though. And you're Scoob, right? I don't know what happened there. We're a tight-knit community here. Everyone knows everyone. Come by and shoot the breeze sometimes. Thank you. They just sat down and the food appeared. They're magic. God, I think stores are gonna start closing. You're so tiny! There's so many animals here! Oh, you're a tourist. Hello! Yeah. Did I meet you? Damon. You a tourist? Oh, you're the one who took over the farm. You're Scoob, right? I'm Damon. I'm sure I'll see you around. Yeah, bruh. What's this? Rest and Hotel Cafe. Rest Hotel and Cafe. If you're not terribly hungry, but need a light meal after work, stop by Sally's Cafe. It's a great place to take a break every once in a while. I was operation 8 to 6. Oh, it's just closed. Hello! Hi there! Hi there! Hello, Scoob! I'm Sally! I run the cafe! She looks so happy! I love her! Have some coffee! I make a mean cup of joe, if I do say so myself. Are you a pirate? Ahoy! You're a Scoob, right? I've heard about you. Have you heard about me? Nah, you haven't. I'm Jason. Though I may look like a part of a dashing Corsair, I'm actually the owner of the Gold's Rest Hotel. Dope. There's an elevator. What? What is this? Little brochure thing? I'm guessing someone probably works there. Hello! Let me drive a boat. So you can't really control the camera much in this, which I'm fine with. Hi! I seen you on the loading screen. Uh, hello, you're Scoob, right? My name's Beth. I am something of an archeo archeological, I can word, enthusiast. I'm on the hunt for antiques in this town. I'm only a guest staying at the hotel, but in any case, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. I'm gonna guess that you're gonna stay here longer than you say you are. Who are you? You look like the little kid from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, <laughs> the one that fell in the chocolate. <laughs> hey, I'm Mikey. Fun fact, I can shoot lasers from my eyes. Pew pew. What's your name? Scoop? Okay, I'm gonna remember that. Ooh, a flower shop. And again, sells a variety of flower, flowers, flower seeds, and furniture at his shop. His lineup will change each season, so check back often and see what's in stock. You can also request to make perfumes and bouquets. Bouquets. From 8 to 6, like everything else. Cool. So this is like a gift shop? Yes? Can I ask who you are? 
Your name is Scoob. Oh, you're the one who came to town riding a motorcycle. I'm not gonna remember any of these voices. It doesn't matter if they're not good, I'm not gonna remember them, so... <laughs> I mean, I managed the flower shop with my grandpa. We'd be delighted to receive your patronage. You will. Hello! Oh. You're so small! Hmm. Who are you? Who are you again? Oh, Scoob! So you're the one then. Name's Nguyen. My granddaughter and I run the flower shop. If you ever want flowers or seeds, come to me. Sure do. Sure will. Everything in this game is so pretty so far. I'm so happy. Oh, what's this? A building that's not there yet. Tool shop. I'm gonna be here a lot, I bet. There's little motorcycles. Wait, isn't this who's fixing my... Why does he look like he's from Final Fantasy? <laughs> the tool shop will upgrade your precious tools for you. You may also commission bag expansions there if you'd like to carry more items at a time. Eight to six. Hey. Y'all look dope. Hey, I'm Clements. I'm the guy behind all of the bits and bobs at the tool shop. And you are? Ah, so you're Scoob. Good to meet ya. Hello. Yo. Lars. Oh. Oh. You're the one I've been hearing rumors about, Scoob. I'm Lars. I help my big brother Clem at the tool shop. You came here on a motorcycle, right? Well, it just so happens I'm this town's motorcycle expert. If you ever need any help with that, I'm your guy. Nigel's Handyworks. Are you the, uh, Carpenter? You may purchase farm facilities and upgrades at Nigel's Workshop. Once you've repaired a, a dilapidated farm facility for the first time, Nigel will begin to sell them. You may also commission him to expand your home. That's dope. I like that. I like that. So I seen someone up there. Ooh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, uh, I don't think we've had the pleasure. I seem to recall the mayor saying something about this. Uh, right, you're Scoob. You're living on the farm, I hear. I'm Ralph. I work at a, as a forest ranger here. Nice to meet you. Dope. I thought you were just some army dude. Hello. Hello. Hello, I'm Nigel. Let me know if you ever need any carpentry work done. I've got the skills, so I may as well put them to good use, yeah? That's a rough voice. Anyway, be seeing ya. Nice. I wonder if there is a list of the people in the town? I'm guessing it's this. What is this? I can build stuff. So I can make a fence, a road, a gate. Right now, out of wood. Oh, 18, 19, 20. Whoa. 20 people, and I think more, there's DLC that have more people you can add to the game, and there might be a mechanic that has more people move in as the town grows or your farm grows or something, so it's a nice big list of people we got here. So our farm seems pretty big right now, but I'm sure once we start working it, it's gonna feel pretty small. I am stuck. So... Yeah, it's not too big. It's definitely not too big. Like, I'm sure we can fill this, like, pretty quickly. I'm hoping over here... Nah, this looks like the mine. Can I... Get in here. I'm hoping we can expand our farm somehow. That's usually a big part of these games. Alright, so. First impressions of this game. I really like it. I love the art direction it went for. Um, I love the little tweaks they have in here, and it's not Harvest Moon. So that's a big one. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this is great so far. I haven't gotten into any of the farming mechanics yet, or too deep into it so i don't know for sure but at first glance first day 
It's making good impressions. It's making great first impressions. So I can't wait to continue. 